Okay, back to yakking with you, Jagoff, and we're back to Wiggle Whiskey here in the Strip District. There was so much here the last time we were here, we thought we have to come back for a tour. And this time we have Alex, one of the co-owners. Alex? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Well, thanks for uh, hanging out with us today. Uh, of course. So, uh, first of all, I have to tell you that my first whiskey story and last whiskey story didn't go so well. The last time I drank a few shots of whiskey and I ended up standing on a table pointing at people and yelling things. And it probably, I fell asleep for probably four days after that. So. Uh, so it's probably not good, but but uh, in the meantime, your whiskey's really good. We had it the last time; it was really smooth. Good. Yes. Well, as part of your tour, you do get a drink. I know Meredith told me not to give you the drink, but <laughs> if you promise to behave yourself, you'll you can have it. I promise. I, I'll, I'll control myself this time. All right. Yeah. All right. Cool. Oh uh, yeah. All right. So tell us a little bit about um, making whiskey here, because. I, I failed chemistry class. Is that a bad thing? Is that a bad thing? It could story? be a problem. You might not be able to follow us, but <laughs> we'll try to keep you along for the ride. Okay. So unlike a lot of distilleries, we get our grains in whole. These, uh, uh, they're all local and organic grains uh, that we source directly from farmers. Uh, we have organic rye that comes from either um, Eastern Ohio, Western New York, or even Washington County. Uh, we do, starting with the grains, um, that's the foundation of whiskey. So the category of whiskey is a spirit distilled from a fermented mash of grains. So we take the whole grains and then we mill them in the milling room. Okay, I knew he was too smart for me. <laughs> all right, so this is the milling room. We pour all the grains in this hopper. Uh, the grains get augered up and dropped into the, the hammer mill here, which grinds the grains into what most people know as flour. Ah, all right. Flour can't be so harmful. Yeah. So then the flour gets augered up out here along this long auger and gets dropped into our mash tank. That's where we're gonna cook all the flour. Okay. By adding hot water and then heating, heating up that mixture until we break down the starches in the grain into fermentable sugars. So that's, that's a huge part of what we do is everything we ferment is using the natural starches in the grains um, and we turn those into fermentable sugars. Wow, I know when I make my pancakes with flour, they don't turn into whiskey, but <laughs> you got something better than I do. I should have paid attention in chemistry. That's right. All right, after we've cooked the grains in the mash tank, we uh, pump the mash into the, one of the two fermenters that we have. Uh, and there is where we add the yeast. So the yeast is what will turn the mash into what we know as beer. Okay. So it's slightly different than the beer you know in that all the grains are still in there. We're okay. not filtering out any of the grains. Okay. So it's gonna be a, still uh, of a porridge type consistency, um, but in there is where the yeast are gonna uh, feed on the sugars and turn, and the byproduct of that is alcohol. From our perspective, the fermentation takes place in, over the course of about four days. So we're not worried about um, the alcohol spoiling in any way like you do with the wine oh, okay. or you do with the beer. Okay. Okay. So that's not as big of a concern for us because right after that's done, we pump it into the still. Okay. This is not your Home Depot equipment right here. Tell us a little bit about the equipment before we go on. So the equipment, all everything you've seen, we uh, ordered from Carl, which is a, a family uh, manufacturer in uh, outside of Munich in Germany. So wow. a very small operation, uh, custom made stills, and so we ordered everything from them in terms of the, our initial equipment. Wow. Okay. So we now have it in the in the cooking over here. That's right. So we pump the beer into the still, and this is where we want to strengthen the beer. So we started off with about six to eight percent alcohol in the beer. And now we're going to uh, strengthen that into what we call low wines, which is about 30% alcohol. Wow. All right. So after we collect the low wines in this tank, uh, we do a second distillation in which we pump that, those low wines back into the still 
to distill this for the second time in order to get the final product. The, the idea behind distillation is that when we're heating the alcohol, alcohol heat, uh, evaporates at a different temperature than water. So as we slowly heat it, the alcohol turns into vapors uh, while the water stays in the pot, and then we recondense the alcohol vapors in the condenser. And then we have a much stronger alcohol content in the final product. I can clip the chemistry exam now. <laughs> You hanging in there all right? Yeah, I'll be all right. All right, well, once we get the final product, we bring it over into this area, which is where we both dilute the whiskey to the strength in which we barrel it, and then we put it in the barrels. Uh, these are the barrels in which our whiskey is aging, um, and at that point, you know, we, after a certain period of time, the whiskey has extracted plenty of flavor from the wood. Uh, we end up with a final product which looks like this. It's a aged whiskey. Um, and that brings us from start to finish, from brain to bottle. Oh boy, Meredith's gonna kill me. You jack off!